Okay, so uh, my name is Eric. I'm a data scientist at a company called Demandbase, uh, and I'm going to try to um, explain to you why your models should be explainable. Um, so what is explainability? Basically, um, or why is it important? Uh, imagine that you have machine learning models, you're making recommendations for customers, and they want to know why did you recommend that, right? Um, if they're paying you money and you can't explain that, then they might not be a customer very long. Um, deep learning, uh, that's obviously becoming increasingly important these days. Uh, imagine that you are training a self-driving car for weeks and suddenly it just starts taking the wrong turns. What do you do? Um, well, you might have to restart your training from scratch if it's not explainable. Um, and then finally, Netflix. Uh, these movies are recommended to me because I like anti-heroes, I guess, and moral ambiguity. Um, that is spot on compared to just saying like, oh, you like action, right? Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna focus on logistic regression model today um, but you should know that decision trees are also explainable, albeit um, not out of the box. They require some work to become explainable. And then, of course, uh, deep nets are not really explainable at all. They're even called black boxes. Uh, I stole this slide from a publication by DARPA in 2017, basically illustrating the trade-off between the accuracy of a model and its explainability. Uh, so at the top, you have neural networks. And I took the liberty of adding a point. Uh, down here you have logistic regression, which is very explainable, but not as performant at the other, as the other models. Um, and if you've ever worked with SVMs, uh, good luck explaining those. I'm not even gonna try. So before I get into the example, I just want to say that uh, there's a difference between interpretability, which you may have heard, and explainability. Uh, interpretability means that uh, you understand the reason behind a model's decisions. Um, so that reason can be that principal component number seven is greater than 0.3, right? But that's not explainable in human terms, right? We don't know what principal component number seven is. Explainability means in human terms. So this house will close within 30 days because it is located to a school uh, and it's greater than 1,200 square feet. So I like to think of interpretability as being systemic to a model uh, and explainability as being sort of inherent to the sample and the predictions that the model makes. So logistic regression, this is the example. Um, this is great in Python because you can write a logistic regression model in three lines of code. Uh, hopefully the data scientists you work with can write more than three lines of code, but that's all you need really to do this. Um, and so in this case, we have some features. That's the model, right? It's just a bunch of feature weights. Uh, 0.01 for square footage, uh, 2.0 for how many cars in the garage, et cetera. Uh, so now we have a new sample. So this house, 950 square feet, one car garage, et cetera. Um, will it close in 30 days or not? Uh, so basically what you do is you take all the weights and you multiply them by those feature values and you end up with those numbers at the bottom. You put them in the logistic regression model and it says, no, it will not sell. Why? Well, you have a bunch of positive numbers in blue and you add them up. You have a bunch of negative numbers in red. You add them up and the negative is bigger than the positive. Right? So that's what made the prediction become negative. Um, so now you can say, well, why is it so negative? Oh, well, that negative four is the biggest negative number. Uh, 0.4, negative 0.4 distance to the school times 10 miles to the near school. Um, that's why that number was so big, and that's why this house won't sell, right? It's too far from schools. So this is explainability. I can tell you exactly why this model said true or false. Um, by the way, feature importance, if you're familiar with random force, it does not equal explainability. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's say you have a, a decision tree, and the most important feature is the size of the house. If it's over 2,000 square feet, uh, it's not going to close in 30 days. Uh, so here comes a customer with 2,100 square foot house, and your machine learning model says it will close. How do you explain that to them? You can't just say, well, the most important feature is big houses tend not to close. You have a big house, but it will close. Right? That's not explainable. Um, so what you need to do is understand the path that that particular prediction makes along the random forest. And similar to the feature weights for the logistic regression example, uh, where is that prediction being moved to the left or to the right the most? And you can say, ah, it's because it's close to an elementary school or close to public transportation. That's why it closes. So one thing to also keep in mind uh, as I wrap up here, explainability is optional, right? It takes effort in some cases, and maybe it's not worth it. Uh, in some cases, performance is more important, right? So if you're doing fraud detection, data security, you don't really care about explainability. You want to get the right answer. That's, that's what's important. Uh, so the best approach is just to be, kind of be mindful of the business objective, uh, the customer needs, et cetera, when you pick a model. So in conclusion, uh, understand if explainability is right for you. Um, some things I didn't discuss, how to make a random forest explainable, takes a little bit of work. Explainability with hundreds or maybe hundreds of thousands of features 
you can do it, also takes some work. Um, and then some really cool approaches recently for deep learning, how to make deep nets explainable. Um, and there's some really cool research by Google Brain, uh, if you look for concept activation vectors uh, and testing with concept activation vectors, there's a couple of cool papers there. So, thank you. Thank you very much.